everything is good and everything is bad based on how we see it. There's so much fake life on social media. If you're not careful to realize that a lot of things that happen on social media may not actually be a true reflection, it can pull you away from what actually goes on in reality. So, yeah, it's actually helped. The contrary, it helps me to connect more with my real friends. Time management, knowing when to be on and, and when to get off and knowing if I'm on too long and trying to be like, okay, you know what? I've been on here for 10 minutes. I got some other things I gotta do. Let me go and take care of that. Follow people that, you, that their content will inspire you because the truth of the matter is that every woman being is a product of influence. And influence comes from words, from action, from mannerism. So you must decide that these are the kind of people I want their content to influence me. Um, the obvious reason one is that social media connects with you to your friends, loved ones, and it also connects you with inspiration. Some people find their mentors on social media. I think a negative thing to social media is that you can get lost in it. Um, people have identity crisis if you dwell so much in it. You hear so, there's so much fake news around. There are so many, many fake um, motivation or fake quotes or, or even um, things that people swear they live by. Some of them are just blatantly wrong. So if you don't know who you are, if you don't have any, if you don't have core values, you can lose yourself to it. Uh, I feel like it boils down to the person and what they're looking for on social media. Like, I know for me, when I go on social media, the things that I like and I want to learn more about, I tend to follow those people and actually go look for those things actively. Now, I went through this phase of, on my Instagram account, for example, I noticed that a lot of things, a lot of people that I followed, they weren't helping me or I didn't care about, well, I didn't care about them. But I went through this whole thing where I unfollowed a lot of people because I was like, every time I go on your story, whatever I see just either irritates me or it makes me like raise an eyebrow or I'm not learning from you. So ultimately it boils down to the person. Social media can help you to grow and it can also bring you down. You just have to be careful of what you feed yourself. Yeah, could you just to spread the word like, do not shame, you know, don't be ashamed of me on earth because I will shun you in front of my father too. That's a Bible verse, not exactly quoted, but it is a Bible verse. So use it to spread the word as a Christian. Use it to like, you know, um, better your business if you're an entrepreneur. And yeah, something bad about it is that it has more negativity than positivity. Like there tend to be more negative messages and, and images being put out there than positive ones. Like. So the good thing about social media is how fast news travels. The bad thing is also regarding the news. Sometimes you don't know what's real and what's fake and it's so easy to have your own opinions influenced by others. We kind of have follower instincts in some ways. I don't know if that makes sense. King, there are a lot of things posted on there, cooking, um, how to do your makeup properly, you know, basic uh, necessities that you might need to survive in life. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that are equally, I'll say equally, or if not more, like, bad in social media. Like, okay, your explore page, you can open your explore page on Instagram and all of a sudden you see um, a naked person or someone dressed like indecently or some people even post uh, um, different types of pornography on there now. It's just very rampant. Like if you go on Twitter, you see like all sorts of things. So like, as a Christian, I don't think those are like things you can try to like escape it, but I don't think you can really be free from it because okay, it might not be from you, or it might be people you follow or people they follow, and then you see it, it just comes up one way or the other. I think that's like the basic. I think so. I think social media can can blow up. Some of your insecurities for example if your insecurity is that um you don't 
you don't you don't look your best or you feel you're ugly when you see people photoshopping their their pictures on instagram or photoshopping their pictures on on pinterest for example you i feel like that can blow up your insecurity <laughs> at the same time i feel like then again if you if you are not faced by all these things and you have an identity you know who you are you know who you are in christ it shouldn't really shake your insecurities Oh, definitely, a hundred percent. Because if we want to be realistic, especially for ladies, right? You go on social media, you're seeing everybody buying LV, everybody's wearing red bottoms, everybody looks snatched, everybody has 28 inches, Peruvian, Mongolian hair, nails done, makeup on fleek. If those are things that you struggle with, you would want to find a way to appear that way on social media. And it's the same thing with guys, like you see people flaunting their money, and let's be realistic, they flaunt the money, well, number one, they only have one dollar bills. By the time they finish flaunting the money, they go put it back in their account, or it might be their friend's money that they borrow, like, yo, let me borrow your money and flaunt. So it can affect your self-esteem, because you see those things, especially if you're in the same like age range, you see those things and you're like, why can't I be like that? Or I want to be like that. And that can take you down the path of doing extreme things. And by the time you get caught and wrapped up in it, you're like, wait, this isn't what I thought. So it can feed your insecurities. That's why, like I said, filter what you see. Like, let's be realistic, everybody struggles with it. Like there are times I've caught myself comparing people and I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. Definitely. Definitely. Because sometimes you're going to be in a room with different people and you're on social media, not really paying attention to the world around you. I've been in a room like that before and like everyone was on their phone. And I, I think I dropped my phone and I was like, okay, what are we doing here? What's going on? So it definitely pulls you away from real life relationships. But I think it's just based on you, on you yourself. If you want to decide, okay, I'm going to let go of it, this is not going to distract me from other aspects of my life, then that's fine. Um, for me, no, because I'm not always on social media. But I think it has the power to. So I have, okay, I've had occasions where I had to maybe get off Instagram. For me, it's YouTube or YouTube and just focus on my life and stop living other people's lives. For me, to be honest, yes. I can't lie and be like, no, it doesn't. It does, because... When I think about it, the time that I should be using to, I don't know, go on the Bible app on my phone and actually read the Bible or like, you know, listen to the word on YouTube, a YouTube or like, you know, there, there are platforms out there, like, you know, accounts or, um, I don't, I don't know what to call it, out there that you could go on and, you know, it will strengthen your faith in Christ and whatnot. But... I don't catch, I don't see myself doing that majority of the time. I'm mostly scrolling through Bella of Ninja Weddings, do you judge me? <laughs> and like, you know, my friends as well. Does it pull me away from my friends? Um, I would say in terms of conversation, yes, because going through like, you know, social media, especially Instagram and Snapchat and those other things, it's like in my head, I have seen you in picture, I've seen what you're doing, like what you did today or whatnot. So like, there's no need for me to kind of call and check up on you no more. So I would say it's, had a bit of an effect in that. I'm not that bad, but I would say this affected it a little bit. It can, because you can get really invested in social media without knowing it, without realizing it. Like, as much as we don't want to agree that we're tied to our phones, we're tied to our phones. And I know for me personally, I'm kind of a socially awkward person. So when I'm somewhere that I don't want to be, or I'm not really comfortable my go-to is social media and even when I wake up sometimes I find myself like I pick up my phone and go on social media and I actively had to tell myself okay put a time limit on it and try not to be on it as much and if you're constantly doing that by the time you scroll 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 you'll be like oh wait I was supposed to pray you're like well it's already past that I'll pray at night and night you go back on your phone scroll 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 like oh it's time past my prayer time i'll pray tomorrow and you keep postponing and postponing and yeah well 
it boils down to like what I said initially it depends on what you want out of social media and put in actively put in a time limit and filtering what you see or what you want to see on social media like technology these days we have the opportunity to do that if you go on your iphone you can set a limit for your social media if you go on your iphone you can see your screen time and it will tell you oh instagram took three hours of your day youtube took two hours of a day by the time you start monitoring those things then you see that okay i'm spending way too much time what can i do to not be on social media like try to find things that will occupy yourself get a hobby go jogging work out cook dance something find something else that would occupy your mind and you don't have to revert to social media um i think first of all um you need evaluation so you should have periods where you self evaluate to see if social media is beginning to negatively influence your life then from self evaluation then you can start making goals for instance you could limit the, your use on social media maybe the number of hours the number of minutes um, for instance my phone tracks how much time I spend on YouTube Instagram I would do that um, what else or you could actually have blocks of period, blocks of times that you actually use social media. So rather than waking up in the morning and checking your phone or Instagram first, you would have your you have a way to restrict yourself. So if you see yourself going on Instagram early in the morning, you should catch yourself. Oh no, I'll do this two o'clock or three o'clock later in the day, something like that. I think, but evaluation is important. Knowing when to stop. I know in the past, like even two weeks ago, I I, I deleted. I deleted my um, account, not deleted, I temporarily disabled my account for like a week. So I think knowing when to stop, don't live on social media, try to focus on your life because you, there is a life outside the screen. So try to focus on your life, evaluate what you watch on it. I, I like to watch funny videos, but even after a while they get to me like, you're not focusing on your life. These people that are putting out content every day, they are content creators. So that's their life so me consuming so much of social media it's not it's not going to improve me in any way maybe it will make me laugh for a few minutes but after a while knowing when to stop is key don't live on social media focus on the word of god know who god says you are understanding who you are in christ um, following people that are inspiring but it's not every time inspire 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 sometimes just follow some funny people there are so many funny people on instagram or any sort of social media that is um do things you enjoy mm -hmm. and try to stay grounded in the word that would guide whoever you follow and that will guide whatever you do or use or whatever you use social media to do yeah. um i i think a lot of times people emphasize the negatives of social media forgetting that at the end of the day it's a medium or a platform so that means you have a bunch of people sharing different messages and it's a way for many people to grow in many ways and i think there are huge positives to using social media and there are also negatives so my advice to a growing youth on social media is pick who you follow pick who you watch pick what you listen to i think social media is so great um, from social media we have new artists now artists in every form i mean painting singing dancers just from social media because people have gotten inspired by social media um from social media you have budding pastors if we're talking about christian youth here we have um budding motivators um there's so many positives to social media so focus on what you listen to focus on what you read evaluate your beliefs your opinions and your thoughts and just have a vision for your life if you already have it, then like there isn't really much in terms of like, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Because, you know, there's this thing about sweet fruits. Once you've tasted it, it's really hard not to go back. So, but um, in everything, I would say discipline. That's for, you know, someone who is a Christian before they downloaded or got into social media or you know someone who already had it before you became a Christian just be disciplined like if you know where like what aspect of your life you want to grow in Christ like you know 
then you know be disciplined in that aspect and doing the work to get to the point where you want to be so um and that goes for someone who's like you know who's been a christian for longer because you can say yeah i like you know there's no such thing as a stronger christian we all have aspects in our life that we need to work on so like just be disciplined know yourself know what you are who god wants you to be like you know who you are as you know a child of god and whatnot and work on the aspects of your life that you know you need work in like you know take the speck or the plank out of your eyes before you're taking the speck out of others i would say be very very careful it's easy to get sucked in with things you see now you can decide like if you really want to go to the extreme that you're only going to pay attention to christian pages christian youtube channels things that help you grow you can do that or you can find like a healthy balance i know for me sometimes on my youtube like you know when you go on the home page and it shows the suggestions there are certain things i will like intentionally click and say don't show me this i don't want to see don't recommend this channel you can do that you can also do it for because everyone uses instagram or TikTok now for instagram pages you can just choose to follow only certain preachers or certain pages that motivate you and stuff so that will basically be my advice just be careful and filter basically i'd say focus on you because and if you're looking at other person someone else's success and what someone else is doing on social media it's just going to eat you up there's a lot of things that are going to come in place depression you're going to be depressed um, your fate, you're going to stray far away from God and I think that's something that you, as a Christian, you do not need. Just focus on you, don't look at what anybody else is doing and do better for yourself. That's it. And we're back. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us during this past two weeks. You know, you guys have been so amazing. We appreciate everything that you guys have done. The, our followers, our fans, the viewers, everything. And you guys that have been our friends. Oh, that you guys took your time to be in this video we, <laughs> we really appreciate y'all like thank I'm you like thank you i don't know i'm just happy i'm very happy I, i'm so happy how it turned out like we had a vision and you guys came through for it like i don't know what to say i just thank you thank you so much anyways so she said it all thank you and well the conclusion is that we always say we never really come up come with a solution true like so what we did now is we got different people's opinions aside from me and toby right so social media is the i think the biggest platform right now in the entire world like we can go on and on and on about it and still not find the right words to put it in so from everything everybody has said whatever you've gotten out of it you agree you disagree put a comment down below let's hear what you have to say yep. you know you we would we are going to check out the comments and as she said the guys part you're seeing this video now it's the end of it we've had the girls talk so even though we are girls though we do not put ourselves in there it doesn't matter we're the ones behind it we are the masterminds are the behind. masterminds no no sir that's why it's big i don't know no, toby it. said it's big, it's not big. <laughs> That is not big at all. Oh my gosh, what did you learn from social media about the whole thing? Pretty much, I think the things that I kept hearing from all of them, like, you know, we could just come to a consensus is that, like, it's a good platform, but it's also a bad platform. I think it depends on who is using it and how you use it. I think that's what, like, one thing that I learned. I mean, I, it's funny because I think that's my own opinion on it too, so at least I'm happy that I'm really busy and things like that. I think for me, yeah, like, yeah definitely i agree but like depending on you yeah but at the end of the day for me it was like everything starts from the word of god so whatever the word you understand that your bible is telling you to do just do that and be you yay yay and we will see you and then sorry sorry we'll see you guys in the next video so like we'll make sure you leave a thumbs up if you like this video you have no choice i'm pretty sure you like to like give a thumbs up <laughs> Share. You have choice. So <laughs> I beg, you have choice. Make sure you share this video, subscribe, do all that, all that yada yada. I'm sure you're tired of here saying it, but you know, just do it. Exactly. Was repeating because y'all don't do it, so do okay, it. Just subscribe. Just click the button. Click like don't yeah. It's, it's not, not hard. We're not asking for money. Like, it's free. <laughs> just, just click. Anyway, Sha, let's not then. rant too much. So <laughs> see you guys Bye. in the next video. Bye. Peace know that you know we were part of the process but like i enjoyed watching it wait no we're starting again i'm not